We mark a medical first in the field of hereditary blindness tonight and introduce you to a brave little boy who's become the Canadian face of a revolutionary gene therapy. CTV's medical specialist Avis Favreau has the exclusive details. Eight-year-old Sam is a beacon of hope, the first Canadian to be treated with gene replacement therapy for a rare form of blindness that had left Sam unable to see in the dark. Stars. I never saw stars before. I also never saw airplanes flying at night. He was diagnosed after birth with a genetic defect called RP65. And it's slowly progressive. It's relentless. Your visual field shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. But scientists learned to take a healthy copy of the gene, put it into an inactivated virus that could be injected into the back of the patient's eye. Studies showed over 93% of patients regained some vision. So Sam and his family traveled to the U.S. for this treatment last year. About a week, week and a half later, I definitely noticed improvements just in him getting dressed by himself, finding his shoes by himself, little things that daily, daily living that we would have to assist him in, he was able to do so independently. I also see the street light poles now and the trees. Now that the drug Luxturna is being approved in Canada, doctors hope to use it on more patients with RP65. People who are facing blindness have much to look forward to. I think, um, I think we're on the cusp of a revolution in this group of diseases. Based on the U.S. price, the cost in Canada will likely top over $1 million per patient and leaving the provinces to decide if they will pay. The problem is if we say yes to this question, you can be sure that the day after, all new drugs in the market will be asking for much higher prices. Still, for doctors, this is now the cost of a life improved I saw, like, one more and a boy who can now see the stars. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.